three, two, one. What? Shade. Oh, I'm gonna put it on. But I was already going. Okay, anyway, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Get up for the day, got my uniform on, vest on and everything, so it's breakfast time. I've got my oats here, which will be with my protein powder, and the little PB2 peanut butter, and the secret ingredient chocolate. Put three squares in and then it melts in. It is amazing. You have to try it. You know when some of them went at that long, they're like... <laughs> Jeez. Um. Is that the cookie dough? That's the cookie dough one. <laughs> I've already put that up to the camera, okay? Oh yeah? yeah I'll just put me in and then, my face see, next to it. You just... This white man. What? Went to the doctor's yesterday again. And? I have bronchitis. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, just I developed just, I just had the cold. Oh. And then did yeah. that develop into bronchitis? Yeah. We have just arrived out in Otara now, so we are about two minutes away from the address we need to head to. We are going to be conducting a visit for one of my victims that's been tasked to me. She is what is known as an amber victim. So a person becomes an amber or a red victim when they have uh, repeat victimizations or family harm occurrences. This female has had multiple family harm occurrences in the past year or so. I think she's had upwards of 12 and these have been all by the same partner. So we're going in to visit her today. Hopefully we can get through to her and pro provide some crime prevention advice um, and try to stop any future victimizations. Okay, so we have just finished our visit there. It was quite a quick one. Um, unfortunately, the victim wasn't home. It was just her mum and sister that answered the door. So I provided my business card and hopefully she'll get back to me soon. The nature of our job and doing a lot of cold calls and visits, the victims aren't always home or they might be there but they just don't want to engage with us. It is um, difficult in our job to try and change their mindset that, they're, that our unit family harm is there to help them but we can only do our best um, and then if we can get through to even one person that will make their lives better and make us happy as well so yes. So we are just on our way at the moment to, oh sorry turn right here, lock in. Um, to assist an Avondale Frontline PST unit. They are in need of a female officer to assist. So what, what's happened? You're not talking? Okay. No, I'm talking. Hello okay. everybody! So we're just on the way to Avondale Police Station now, okay? Okay. So you two both need to be safe and get out of the car without any blood. Mm. So I'm safe! <laughs> yep. You're safe, don't worry. That's what she's going for. Mm -hmm. And she'll wear yellow to die for peace, because I'm a peace. <laughs> they can't kill me. <laughs> we won't kill you. Yeah, I'll just touch you. There you go. It's passed on. Okay. Yeah. Ah, what are you doing? Don't lick me. No, no, I'm not licking you, but uh, come here. No, no. It's, it's, I'll stay over here. That's fine. It's actually bad. So, basically, what happened was a Avondale Frontline Public Safety Team Unit was dispatched by our communications centre to an address. A concerned flatmate had called in, their, that female had come home and she was acting quite erratically, as you saw in the video, which was completely out of character for her. She also mentioned that she may have been the victim of um, an assault or being drugged by someone the night before. So the two officers turned up and they were two male officers. When they arrived at the scene, the female was in, for want of better words, a state of undress. She only had a dressing gown on. They made the decision that she needed to be transported back to Avondale Police Station for further assessment of the situation and so they could get her the help that she needed. Because there were two male officers at the scene and she was in a state of undress, 
they called over the radio for a female officer to come and assist. I was just around the corner, so I put my hand up and said that I could go to the address to help them out. From there, we got to the address they were at. We um, transported the female in our vehicle back to Avondale Police Station. So oftentimes when uh, two male officers turn up at a scene and there's a female involved, they might make the decision that they need a female officer to come and assist. This is basically just to ensure the um, safety of the person involved and so they feel as comfortable and safe as possible, especially if we're going to be transporting them to another station or to another address. So um, after we got back to the Avondale Police Station, we transferred her back into the care of the uh, public safety team who then dealt with the situation from there. So. Yeah. It is Elderly Abuse Awareness Day today in case you guys didn't know. So there is an event on today at the War Memorial. It is run by Age Concern and Shanti Niwis. So these are both two external agencies that we work with on family harm. So we've come here to support today um, and basically just have a police presence at the event because they help us with um, our victims and families, so we're here to support them as well. If we have a problem, we are ethnic people, we are Asians, we normally don't like to go to the police because we don't want to lock up our, our husbands, our children and all, but I want to hear from them. Hello, um, I didn't actually know we were going to be doing a speech today, so I will keep it quite short, but me and Shane here are from the Balmoral Family Harm Team, so we um, cover all of Auckland City District. Family harm incidents, when they don't go reported, it means that our team can't come and help you, okay? And we're here to help, that's the main thing. So, um, as she was saying before, often people don't want to come to the police because they feel like we're there to um, arrest someone or do something bad, anything like that, but our team is there for prevention. We're there to help. So we're not coming in to arrest anyone. We're coming in to have a cup of tea. We're coming in to have a chat with you guys just to see what we can do to help you and to help make your lives better. So yes, remember us, Balmoral Family Harm. We are Family Harm Intervention Team 3. Right, so we've just finished up the event now. Here's Shane in his shirt. Oh, I'm about to get hit by a car. Let's get a bit of a zoom out of Shane in your shirt. Show it off. <laughs> Good Lord. World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Awesome Remember that one. Okay, so we are just off to another visit now. We've come back over to our area. We're in Mount Roskill. So this is another one of my taskings to go and speak to um, a victim who has had a recent occurrence with her partner. Um, he is a patch gang member. You always have to make sure before we go to a job, we check out the location, check out the um, alerts and links to the address, just to make sure we've got all that information in place so we're not going in blind. Oh, Shane's got his glasses back on, of course. So finished up at that address. She was home, but we were met with a very frosty reception. Oftentimes, um, victims associate anyone in blue as the bad guys, and they think that we're there to um, arrest them, arrest their partner, or um, anything <coughs> like that. So. It is hard to get the foot in the door, as I said before, and unfortunately in this case, we couldn't get that foot in the door. Just leaving the station now, it uh, has just started raining quite hard. 
Um, anyway, I am on my way to the gym. It is about 4 p.m. It's been a pretty productive day for us. Um, managed to complete a couple of taskings, assist PST, um, and then also attend the elderly abuse event. I ended up having to go on stage and do a speech for that, which was not originally planned, but it worked out pretty well. So yeah, it's been a good day. Um, and I, all I've got on for the rest of the day is gym, dinner, watch Love Island, please don't judge me, and then edit a bit of this vlog, sleep, and do the same thing again tomorrow. See you guys later, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.